Hi folks. On the issue of the United States of America having our troops in Afghanistan, I'm about on the fence at this point. 50% says bring them home, 50% says they should stay. But somehow I have been pushed onto the side that says bring the boys and girls home. And here's why. An article that appeared in the Dallas Morning News tells me and any other person who's civilized that Afghanistan are a bunch of barbarians stuck in the 7th century. And why we have American men and women there serving, getting mutilated and murdered to protect this type of a civilization, I'm sorry, I cannot comprehend that. Now here's what I'm talking about. See what they did here, kids. They put a goyle in prison for having sex outside the institution of marriage. That's what she did. She had sex to it with a guy she wasn't married to. So now she's in prison. But he, here's a little bit about, about this story. She had sex not of her own willingness to do so. She was raped. So because she was raped, she had sex outside the institution of marriage, which is illegal, so she goes to jail. And to validate that she was raped, to prove that she was raped, why the rapist is in jail too for raping the girl, which means she was raped. So she wasn't hallucinating it, she didn't make it up, she was raped. So rather than show compassion towards the victim, they vilify the victim. That's what you do with victims if you're barbarians or if you're stuck in the 7th century. And I apologize to all barbarians and all people stuck in the 7th century because this type of behavior goes beyond that. It's a rather degenerate behavior. So now the head of Afghanistan, Karai Karazi there, whatever, he said, sure, let the girl out of jail. That's what they're going to do. They're going to let her out of jail. She does not have to serve the 20 years sentence. She gave birth in jail to the girl, to the child, as a result of the rapist. So the mother and the child are in jail, but now they get to go free. To which I have to say, really, they get to go free? You know why they're letting them out of jail? Because she consented to marry the rapist. That's right. This poor girl that was violated and raped and thrown into prison just because she was raped gave birth. Now the only way she could get out of there is by marrying the man that attacked her. Marrying the man that violated her. Marrying the man that raped her. But that's okay in Afghanistan. Yeah! With barbarians and people stuck in the 7th century. No problem at all. And we have U.S. troops there protecting this? No. Bring them home. Let them reap the ashes that they love to live in. And if another Al-Qaeda rises up, if another Bin Laden rises up, we send in special teams to eliminate them and we come back home again. And what happens in that desert, what happens in that 7th century barbaric civilization, that's their problem. When you incarcerate women for being violated, there's no standing for this. Do you understand? And she's not the only one. Currently, there's something like 300 other women in the same situation. So it's not unique, this one case. All right, folks. We'll see you. Yeah, and I'm sorry for even calling it a civilization. Civilized people don't behave like this. <laughs> we'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the nation you happen to be in. See ya.